Our ability to shape our world is growing exponentially. At 146 metres, the Great Pyramid of Giza was the world's tallest man-made structure for nearly 4,000 years. Roughly 800 tonnes of stone was installed daily during its 20-year construction. That's equal to around 500 cars. Some of the largest stones, weighing up to 80 tonnes, were transported over 500 miles. The next major height increase wasn't until 1889, when the Eiffel Tower reached 300 metres. Believing it to be ugly and unstable, the large committee of prominent figures protested. We writers, painters, sculptors, architects and passionate devotees of the hitherto untouched beauty of Paris protest with all our strength, with all our indignation in the name of slighted French taste against the erection of this useless and monstrous Eiffel Tower. The tower is now the most visited paid monument in the world. 7.1 million people ascended in 2011. Base jumper Jeb Corliss jumped down through the centre of the tower with a one-second window to pull his chute. 1928 saw the start of fierce competition in New York, as the Chrysler Building and 40 Wall Street were constructed at the same time. The planned height of 40 Wall Street was increased by 23 metres, and the record claimed. But in response, Walter Chrysler secretly built a 38-metre spire in his building's crown. Soon after 40 Wall Street was finished, the Chrysler Building's spire emerged, stealing the title of the world's tallest building. However, less than a year later, the title was taken by the Empire State Building. It was built in just 410 days, and President Hoover turned on the building's lights remotely from Washington. The first use of the tower lights atop the building were to signal the victory of Roosevelt over Hoover in the 1932 presidential election. In 2010, the Burj Khalifa reached 829 metres. The fastest of its 57 elevators travel at 64 kilometres an hour, or 18 metres a second, up to the 160th floor, where the outside temperature is around 6 degrees C cooler than on the ground. Base jumpers have enjoyed a full 10 seconds of freefall. There are already plans for buildings that will breach the one kilometre barrier. Innovations in technology and engineering are opening the door to ever greater opportunities, encouraging international cooperation. The Orsonsbron stretches nearly eight kilometres, connecting Sweden and Denmark. The bridge's name is a hybrid of Danish and Swedish, symbolising a common cultural identity, and some commuters consider themselves Orsund citizens. The International Space Station, operated by America, Russia, Japan, Europe and Canada, circles the globe 15 times each day. By the end of the century, space elevators may reach up thousands of kilometers, held up by centrifugal force from the spin of the Earth. Structural engineers are integral to all this innovation. Every year they redraw the boundaries of what's possible and reshape our world and we rely on them to keep us all safe. If a major structure fails, many lives are at risk, so engineers, like doctors, never stop studying. But it's not all hard work. This year, engineers are competing to photograph an iconic structure in the most incongruous location. The winner will be announced on Tumblr. Thank you, structural engineers, the great thinkers, designers and innovators, building our future.